how do you land on the right price point for your app if there aren't existing apps that are the same as yours? In other words, if you don't have competitor apps to look at and to see their price points and sort of use to gauge your own, how do you come up with the right price for your app? Well, there are two ways to, or two things to keep in mind when you're approaching this. The first is this, your app is a solution to a problem. So you need to figure out what it's worth for a person to solve that problem. How much would they pay to solve that problem? Or how much is that problem that they have costing them right now in money, in time, in convenience, in stress, whatever it may be. Now, this is going to require you to have conversations, to do market research, to make sure that you're learning the ins and outs of this, okay? But once you understand what it's worth for someone to solve the problem, your app aside, so don't even think about the actual features of your app, you're just thinking about the problem. How much is it worth it for someone to remove that problem? Okay, when you figure out that, then you're gonna be able to land on a, a good starting price point for your app. Now, the second thing to keep in mind is that your pricing is going to change. Okay, no, no matter what, there is a 99.9% a .9 chance that after you price your app and even start bringing users on board at that price point, it is going to change. That's just the way things work. Your app is going to evolve. Your business is going to evolve. Your user base is going to evolve. And so when you keep this in mind, it's going to help you move forward being okay not having the absolute perfect price point figured out. Okay, so figure out how much it's worth for a person to solve a problem, use that as your starting line, and then know that it's going to change. So as you move forward with that starting line, be open to feedback and be open to changing the price point so that you can land on something more suitable from there.